What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video we have a 1v1 that I level cash cut to be hosted. So this one was a duo FFA zone cut. Remember if you guys want to participate in any of these events, you can find the Raiders competitive link down in the description down below. Also make sure to check out the winner's socials as well down below. We actually do have some uh, promotion that we do. Um, we always post the link uh, of their choice, whether it's going to be in the Discord or if it's going to be in the video description. Usually we do both, but sometimes we just do one or the other. It just really depends. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to drop a like and sub. Here's today's YouTube comment shout out. Let's go ahead and get into it. Click in the uh, Discord. Alrighty guys, next step is kicking. Oh wait. Alrighty. Thank you everybody else who did actually follow the rules. It was just one person who was uh Yeah, don't worry. Sorry platinum, sign ups are closed, man. If you guys would like to join the server, at some mark competitive in chat, guys. If you guys would like to join up in the server. I'm playing the game, so. For cash cuts especially, I'll mostly just be uh, watching, you know. Alrighty, guys. So we've got an Elim already going on to Mezzi there. Already happening. You guys do not, if you guys do not know the current rules, I'll read out some of the rules to you guys. The armor is capped at 1. Our weapon levels are capped at 15, and our uh, ability level is level 1, but you are not allowed to use abilities at all, guys. So please remember that for the cup. Also, we are only allowing quit skins currently, since a lot of players don't listen to the ability rule. They don't listen to the rules in general, honestly. Um, and if they don't listen to the rule, it won't really affect the game if they're just dashing around too much, so... Um, that's why we have locked it to all quit skins for now. We completely changed how the game is currently working right now. Looks like Turbo is actually going to sneak into the box and pick up Mint. And that's going to be Wash. Is that Shinx, I believe? Shinx taking up Aruza. Gotsy taking on Turbo. And Turbo going on down there. We got Gotsy down on the low. We're going to be seeing some of the action up here. Zix up on the high ground right now. Zix and Life currently on the same team. I'm uh, not sure if they do it before, but if they're doing it for the first time, they're doing fairly well right now. Alrighty. Life's looking on down from ulti height all the way up top. Playing it smart up here. Possibly playing for the heal off while Zix frags down on the low ground here. Got a couple of well-known decent players from back in the day as well. Paragon, well-known in the community as well. We've got Gatsy, who's been here for quite a while. Not as long as everybody else, but definitely been here for quite a while. Let's see if Gatsy can pull out the dub here. Only three teams left. It's a 2v1v1. Paragon's gonna go down. Now it's just Gatsy. I'm just checking uh, to make sure there's no zone being played here. Okay, there we go. Nobody was standing still, so definitely no zone glitch of any type used there. GG's, and that is game two, boys. Top 16 on the leaderboard. I don't think top 32 on the leaderboard would be all that competitive. Um, so most likely going to be solos, but we will have to see. Alright, so we have our first Elim of Game 3, Paragon, picking up Gatsy with a Sniper. If you guys did not know, we do allow Heavy Snipers. In the past, we never allowed it. Um, like, back before I came back at the hosting and stuff like that, we never allowed it only because of the, uh, the weapon cap level was way too high. But now that the weapon cap level is set by Friendly Match and they nerfed it, 
it actually runs a lot better in competitive. So now it's allowed and it's back in competitive here. Alrighty, Mint gonna sneak on into Ruza's builds. Mint gonna pick up Ruza. If you guys don't know who Mint is, Mint is a BNG player swapping on over to Doubtlow. I don't know if he has much history in Doubtlow, but I do know that he does play BNG as well. He's actually really good at BNG as well, so if you guys want to check out some of the content, he won the past two cups for BNG, or I think it was the last cup, and it was a uh, cash cup as well. So if you guys are wondering to watch some of that content, it's up on the channel. Alrighty, so Mint's duo down on low ground. We've got Shinx up on the high ground. Or on mid ground, sorry. we got Zix and Life up on the high ground. Or just Life, actually. Not sure exactly what happened to Zix. Not sure if he got eliminated or not. Oh, here he is. Can't find him for some reason. Zix still fragging. They're playing the same route here. One player holding ultimate height. One playing for the frag. There's another frag right there from Zix. Zix another frag again. That's two elims. Zix looking on down, looking for his third elim. Gonna get all three, and Zix gets all three. Pay more attention to what he said, wolf. Alrighty guys, so we've got Mezzi here. Mezzi moving along here on the builds. We've got Kyla here as well. Ruza down here with Mezzi. Gonna see if we can try to find some more action, maybe up on hype. Looks like Life and Zix do not have hype this time around. Might be Paragon and Shinx up there this time. No, it's actually Paragon and Shinx on the mid ground. I don't think any team is holding height right now. Oh, there we go. Six is. Zix is actually playing the ultimate height up with life. Life going back up again. Zix looking for the frags here. Okay, we got a little bit of action here on the mid ground. We're going to be seeing... Oh, that's going to be Mint picking up Turbo. Turbo goes down. Kyla and Mint moving along here. Alrighty, we've got more action down right here. We've got Paragon looking on down. Spraying down towards Mezzi. He's got a nice little POV of all these players' fights going on. And then we've got five spraying into the backside of zone right here. Alrighty. Oh my gosh, a lot of elims. That looks like Zix picking up a lot of elims in the back. We're going to switch on back over the front of zone. Now it's just three teams left. We've got Gatsy's team, Zix's team, and Paragon's team still left. I'm not sure if Shinx is still alive, but Paragon still is. Paragon might have just given away his position by pickaxing that cone right there. A lot of players are still on full HP though, so we're going to be seeing who comes out on top. Zix going to go down to Gatsy though. Gatsy clutching up the Elam against Zix, but I don't think he has enough HP to fight up against Life, who literally is at 100 HP. Wait. No, I think Paragon might have it. No, just barely. The timing is just off by like half a second. That's all it took, and Zix and Life going to take game number four. So here we go. We're having Kyla here, Mezzi down on the lower ground. I believe it was Mezzi's duo that did not make it in, guys. So unfortunately, Mezzi's duo is not in. But it is what it is, guys. Like I said, we only give about 30 seconds in between. Uh, we do give like a minute or two some rounds, but we can't do it for more than like two or three rounds. Otherwise, the cut just takes way too long. We were already a little delayed. We started about 20 minutes late because um, we had a weirdo join of Bobby and stuff. But we're here back in the game five, guys. Almost halfway through the cup now. Pretty much going to reach the halfway point after this game. Alrighty, so we've got life dropping on down. Remember guys, the prize is $10, so it's 5 and 5 for each player. Not a massive prize pool, but it's enough prize pool to keep players coming back. So, we'll see what we can do next season. Alrighty, Paragon dropping on down. It's going to kind of tunnel ahead here. I'm going to see if we can find some action. We do have some action here on the mid ground with Gatsy. There we go, more action happening from Kyla. Kyla gonna get a couple of Elims right there with his duo. Then Kyla gonna get another Elim right there. That's gonna be Paragon going down to Kyla. Kyla gonna look on down, try to get this box here. And he's actually gonna back up and back out of that situation there. We got Life and Zix up on the high ground it looks like here. They're waiting for the players to come out of zone. Life's gonna go down to Kyla. Kyla absolutely dominating the low ground, but Kyla finally, go or Kyla finally goes down to Zix. Kyla absolutely popped off that round. That was wild. Catching everybody off guard. We should have just stayed on Kyla's POV. Kyla with a 6 Elim second. 
That's a very good, that's a very good match, guys. Remember, kills are one point each. Now, it's still anybody's game. This is barely game six out of 12. So there's plenty of games for these guys to come back, do something absolutely crazy. You never know, guys. Alrighty, guys, we got Mezzi here on the mid ground right now, looking on up. Antomania. We got Kyla taking a little bit of damage there. Kyla absolutely dominating last game. I'd say he was the MVP of last game for sure, considering he had six limbs. He tripled the next person next, or the person with the highest kills next to him. So definitely an MVP of that match for sure. He pretty much doubled the first place or first place placement in points. So. Um, okay, so Paragon did use abilities just then to save himself from fall damage. Uh, that is not allowed, Paragon. Oh, lordy. We'll see what we're gonna do after this match, guys. Alrighty, so Zix is gonna take out Paragon right there. Paragon's gonna go out. We'll see what the what the chat thinks, because he did only use it to save himself from fall damage and then he died right away after, so we'll see. Remember guys, you're not allowed to use abilities at all. You cannot save yourself from fall damage or anything of the sort. Alrighty, we've got life up on the ultimate high ground, just kind of playing back in zone. Ah, uh, yeah, they're definitely going to lose if life plays the zone here. Life plays his own, and that's pretty much another dub for life and Zix again. Dominating this lobby. Zix fragging out. Four kills. Someone use their ability. Spectating here. Alrighty, Kyla already making a move over here. Alrighty, Kyla moving on ahead here. Kyla's going to try to get up and into the box. 200 out of Kyla there. Alrighty, Mezzi spraying ahead here. Mezzi 189, 31, 31. Oh, not a lot of shots landed after that though. And Zick's going to pick up both players that were not paying attention in the back of that tunnel there. Both players are going to go down. That's unfortunate. Right, we're gonna be seeing some more action here down on the mid ground. We've got a little bit more action. Mint's gonna die to zone. Oh, Ruza is gonna die to Kyla. Kyla gonna pick up Ruza. Kyla only operating on a few HP here. Not really looking that great for him here. Kyla's gonna go down to Shinx. Paragon and Shinx still alive. I believe it's a 2v2 situation right now. Life and Zits are definitely gonna have to pull together. This is not no ordinary duo. This is Paragon and Shinx. Paragon gonna get stuck in the cone though. And Zit's gonna come up to the box, take the wall, put the window at it, and get the Elam on the Paragon. Paragon goes down. Now we got Life uh, and Life and Zix up against Shinx. Shinx in a 1v2 situation. He knows he doesn't have the HP advantage. He needs to drop down. He needs to do something here. Oh wait, he did. Oh no, he no longer does anymore. Life has the HP advantage. Life plays the back of zone, and there we go. Zit's gonna get the snipe on the Shinx. But I'm not sure if he died his own. One of those two. But Zix and Life coming out with the dub again. And in the Discord server from the bot, so he's no longer allowed to participate. Alrighty, guys, so we got Kyla here. Kyla moving along. Got Ruse's duo as well. Mezzi's duo down on the low ground. Remember guys, it's still anybody's game. We are barely on game eight. That means we still have a full four games after this. Alrighty, gets a player but gets Eland in the process. Mint's gonna get the Eland there and Kyla's gonna go down. Shinx is fighting Zix. Shinx's gonna pick up Zix though. Zix was aggressing but Shinx's coming out with the Elam. It's like life is gonna be by himself up in the ultimate high ground. Life still uh, full HP though, so it's looking very great for him. Mint's still pretty full HP as well, so it's a 1v1 situation. We're going to see who's going to come out on top here. Actually, if they play a zone, Life might actually lose. Uh, Life only has 170 HP and Mint has 173. So let's go ahead and check it out. We'll see who comes out on top here.
Remember guys, if they did both die at the same time, uh, I'm not exactly sure how we're gonna rule that, to be honest with you. Oh, but he didn't- Mint didn't play zone! Mint just threw the game! Oh, Mint just threw, boys. And Mint throws. All he had to do was sit in zone and he would have won. Oh, man. That's unfortunate. And Mezzi down on the low. You've got Life and Zix up on high. You've got Paragon and Shinx playing that left mid. Instead, they're playing zone a little bit, trying to gain a little bit of an advantage by getting ahead of zone while also tanking some zone. Oh, but two players right there. Not sure what duo that is, but Mint gonna take out Shinx. Mint gonna take out Gatsy. Mint gonna take out Vibes. Three Elans back to back for Mint there. Playing it absolutely smart, coming up to the builds, waiting for them to come through, and then popping them for full HP. Alrighty, Ruza. He has the edit here. Oh, but no, Zit's gonna take them both down. Oh, I think Zix's siphon just barely saves them there. If you guys do not know, yes, there is a visual bug where your siphon does not show. So yes, it shows that he has zero HP, but he is still alive because of siphon. That means he is literally on a sliver of health, and just like that, he does go down. Alrighty, so Mint gonna pick him up. They both pick each other up there, so now it's Paragon versus Life again. Paragon's Paragon and Life's team going at it for a third straight game in a row for finals. Alrighty, Life trying to get ahead, trying to get up. He took quite a bit of damage. Paragon took quite a bit of damage as well. Life, no, but Life dies to fall damage. And there he goes, he's dead. Alrighty, so that is game number nine in the books. Alright. Second, game number nine in the books. Today, because I really don't feel like recording much else out of today, so we'll see. Or if I do record, I'll save it for like Tuesday or Wednesday when I work. Alrighty, player's gonna double spray. Ruza doesn't expect it though. Player's gonna almost pick up Ruza. Oh, they're pushing now. Kyla right here. I think that's Kyla's duo. Yes, it is. And they're both gonna pick them off. And that's Ruza and Mezzi going down. Both players going down there. And that's gonna be their game 10 right there. Alrighty, Gatsy gonna pick up Shinx on the low ground. Vibes down on the low ground with Gatsy. Kind of a wild card team. They've been staying alive till the late game pretty much most of the time. So we're going to be seeing how much placement they've been getting all game or all match. Alrighty, we have Zix and Life up on the high ground. Zix down on the low high ground and we got Life up on the ulti. Kyla and Mint still alive as well. We got... I think it's four full duos left. No, it's three full duos of one solo. Paragon's the one solo. Now it's gonna be Gatsy going down, Vibes going down. Kylo gonna pick up both. Oh, Kylo was taking some shots from the side though. Kylo gonna be in the box of men. They're gonna regroup here. Oh, but looks like Kylo gonna get an Elan though. He's gonna have the quick reaction time. Life on the ulti, once again, playing for that zone. He knows he has the HP advantage. He can let Zix frag out and focus on the kills and take the damage for him while he plays the zone, and that's going to be Kylo going down to zone. That's game number 10. Playing that for like a second or third time, and I'll make sure to ping in the server as well. Kylo going to get a quick elim on the Ruza. Catches Ruza off guard, gets a headshot snipe, gets a couple of head taps with the AR, and he goes down. Alrighty, Mezzi gonna move along as well. Zix looking. Gets a couple. Oh, and he gets Paragon right before the build's place. That's unfortunate for such a laggy game here. But those players are on ultimate, ultimate high ground. They get to spray on up. Things on 70 FPS here, up on the mid ground, still alive for Paragon's team. Vibes down on low ground with Gatsy once again, proving that they are one of the most consistent teams. Kylo gonna take down Mezzi, Mezzi going down. 
Kylo moving ahead. Kylo's still full HP. He's running with the siphons now. Fully recovering from his fights. Alrighty, so Kylo. Kylo's looking around here. Oh, Kylo's gonna go down. That's Vibes who takes down Kylo. Alrighty, Gatsy takes down Mint. Mint goes down, so Mint and Kyla go down. Oh, but they're getting the double spray, but no, Zix still coming out with the Elim there, and this might be another dub, and yes, it is another dub and three Elims. Much a waste of time. Okay, Ruza getting pressured right away. This might be Kyla. Yes, it is. Kyla's duo. They're playing super aggressive. They've been playing super aggro, trying to get into boxes, trying to get snipes from across the map. And they've been doing it pretty successfully as well. Kyla with amazing aim so far. He's been hitting all kinds of headshots, but as well as tagging some body shots as well. Mint and Kyla spraying ahead here. Mint's gonna get... That's a lot of tags from Mint. That's that controller aim is just kicking in right there. Alrighty, Shing spraying down Zix. It looks like that high ground team's not going to be able to contest this time. Life and Zix go down early compared to the other teams. This is the earliest I think I've seen them go down. Now we got Paragon and Shinx's duo up on the high ground controlling the game now. But looks like Vibe's going to go down. Mint goes... Oh, Mint takes out Shinx. Gatsy's still holding it down though. Still proving why they're one of the most consistent duos there. Most consistently in like third place, but still consistent and in placement points. Oh, that's gonna be Gatsy trying to tag up. Oh, he tries to tag up Kyla. Oh, but no, Kyla gonna tag up Gatsy. Here we go. Kyla gonna be chilling up in the build. He doesn't have the HP to outheal this, so he needs to make a move, but Paragon gets with the Elim. And Kyla's duo did have five kills that game, though, so still quite amazing to watch, boys.